Okay, today I'm just showing uh, the new light box and um, new plate that I've made. Um, again, the plate isn't as good as I'd like. Um, I'm actually uh, just in the process of asking Tim Vanderelli if he will make me one um, with a sapphire screen and really professional light. So here we go. Okay, um, made a new light box. Uh, I've got a lot of light going on in here right now, but. So we're going to see a lot of really good stuff later. Oh yeah. We wait for the GoPro cam which will give us a better picture. But yeah. Not bad to start. about the red <laughs> now that's not very good for the camera but uh, yeah we're getting a lot of depth there and again this is uh, I've used WD-40 here as my penetrating oil which is what I uh, asked Mr. Palazzola about and said could I use that and he said no and then he went out and bought some and used it and it was brilliant so I thought that was funny so yeah we're getting a nice lot of depth here it's due to the lighting system and so we'll be having a look at all that later what is that gone? what have you got? New light box. Me. I don't think that really did anything. As you can see, we're all a bit temporary right now. So, yeah, I'll be able to show you some good investigation later. The Halo Wave Full Immersion Magnetic Field Viewer where you can tip things in and out of the inertia line go right through <laughs> this is working really well but yeah that's a pretty shape in it Very cool. I'm liking it. So this one's working pretty good. Might have to redo it like, but... So yeah, one side. See that? See that black holy bit there? Yeah, that's me going through the inertia line at an angle so you can see it. So yeah, back. Around it comes. And out the other side. So yeah, we'll be looking at more of that. That's the phase, the initial line crossover coming in at the bottom, boom, comes around to the other side, flower life, boom, boom. And a completely different field there obviously to that one. This one's doing a lot more. We'll check later. So that's the new, one of the new plates. These again are still only temporary ones. Um, I'm waiting for 1.5 millimeter and 3 millimeter um, glass plates to arrive. So, you know. It's pretty cool, eh? Alright, we'll be doing this later in the dark because as you can see I've got loads of new things going on. So, yeah. I built this light box. I bought something but unfortunately it broke while I was trying to make it. Um, as you can see this goes in, I want one that goes out, but I haven't got the cutting tools. 
But there we go, this is kind of what's going on with the new light box and the new cell, which I've made at six inches so that I can bring, I brought the light box in. All right, see you later. Okay, so that's what I'm dealing with. I mean, as you can see from my light box, um, I need to get it professionally done. Um, it's all good and well, you know, uh, making a light box um, and making your own plates, but the the equipment I've got isn't precision equipment. The drill, diamond drill that I wanted to buy, they don't do them anymore, so I had to buy that crappy red one, and it's chipped it worse than my seven-year-old one that I was using, so I'll probably have to use that again. But, as I said, um, I'm in uh, discussions with Tim Vanderelli, who invented the ferro cell, and uh, he put a hole in it uh, before me, but I turned it into a tool and invented this, um, which I think is a really good idea. Now we can see both sides of the field and obviously you can see the change over there right on screen that um, there's two different, completely different fields on either side. Um, so yeah, so Tim has uh, told me that yeah, you can custom make one, but we're looking at about 500 bucks. So uh, yeah, um, if you think what I'm doing for God and that I've followed for three years, totally just blindly followed him to this point. I've put this shape in everything in my collections on Google, in every medium and plant and rock and sun and star and you name it, I've I've put this double helix um, energy transfer in everything before I got to magnetism. And it turns out that magnetism is the key so that I can show that it's all double helix energy flow and that it's coming in as a vortex, going through an inertial line crossover, spinning around the magnet, spinning back into the center of the magnet and then blasting out in the flower of life. Um, this truly is the best way to show it, but obviously, you know, I've made three. Um, Tim Vanderelli has made um, hundreds, thousands. I don't even know he's been doing it, you know, for at least 10 years. Um, so basically I'd like to get the best one that they've got so that then um, I've got all the gear to do my own experiments and to show you in exquisite detail um, because he, he says he's got some really good stuff but it's it's quite expensive so um, if uh, we need at least 500 bucks I do believe um, the ones that he was telling me about were about 400 and that's not including tax shipping and everything else so uh, you could say I'm begging for money um, yeah but I'm not buying a jet I want to buy a real ferro cell and uh, get on with explaining everything that God has shown me because it's in my head waiting to be put on screen and as you can see you know I'm, I'm, I've got some good stuff going on for a bit of a hobby um, but it's not professional grade you know I've got bubbles and all I don't even know what's going on with that I think that might be the glue but who knows so um, please if God lays it on your heart and you got the cash um, let's see if we can raise 500 bucks um, I'll keep everyone updated as we go. If you don't have any money, please don't send it. God doesn't need any more poor people. I'm asking the people who've, you know, got a couple of bucks. All right. Thanks very much. And may God bless us all as the end is coming. Bye.